Hi, my name is Christian Toro, and today we'll be using Photoshop to create kaleidoscopes. Step one is finding your picture. What we're looking for in a picture are clear lines, bold colors, and geometric shapes. That's gonna distinguish your picture from being either a good picture or a bad picture. Let's take a look. This is an example of a good picture to use for your kaleidoscope. You can clearly see the detail in the trees, the geometric lines, and the contrast between the sky and the trees. This would be a bad picture to use for your kaleidoscope. There's very little color, not much content within the picture, and very little line work and geometric shapes. For this tutorial, we're gonna use this picture as our content for our kaleidoscope. First, we have to open our picture in Photoshop. Once you've got your picture open, make sure you double click your background layer to unlock it. This will make your layer editable. After you have unlocked your background, click Command T to be able to free transform your picture. Once you've done that, go to the top of the screen and look for this rotation angle. Once you have it selected, type in 60 and that will transform your picture 60 degrees from its point. Click Enter to place your image. Move your image to the top right corner of your canvas, making sure that it's flush with the corner of your page. Zoom in to make sure your edges are crossing that of the canvas. Now that your triangle is at the top of your canvas, you want to use the magic wand tool and select the empty part of your canvas. After that, press Command Shift I to select everything showing on your canvas. Drag your triangle down, detaching it from the rest of its image. After dragging your triangle, Click Command C to copy your image, then Command N to open a new document. After you've opened your new document, click Command V to paste your triangle into your new Photoshop document. Make sure to delete the background layer. Now that you have your triangle placed in your new document, you want to enlarge your canvas. You could do so by going into Image, going into Canvas Size, changing your size from inches to percentage and then putting the dimensions that you want. For this example, we're going to do 400 times its original size. After you've enlarged in your canvas, move your triangle to the edge of your document. Once you've moved it to the edge, duplicate your layer to work on another triangle piece. We duplicate our layer and flip it to make an equilateral triangle. After duplicating your layer, flip your image. Go to Edit, Transform, and flip vertically. Once that's done, realign your triangle to create an equilateral triangle by dragging it. Click Enter to paste your triangle. Zoom in to make sure there are no seams in your triangle. That way, you don't come into any trouble later. Once you've zoomed in and you see that there's no seams, Zoom out and continue working. Now that I've made my equilateral triangle, click Enter to paste it, select your layers, and merge them together by clicking Merge Visible. This is going to combine our layers together into one layer so that when I move my triangle, they move all in one piece. After placing it back on the edge, duplicate your layer. Once you have your equilateral triangle, click Ctrl T to transform your object. After that, move your anchor point to the right point of your triangle. After that, go to the top menu bar, back to your rotation angle, and set it to 60. That'll rotate your triangle in a 60 degrees. Click Enter to place your triangle. Move it to hide any seams that are showing. You want your triangle completely seamless and aligned with your first triangle. Once you have your second triangle placed, repeat the steps. Duplicate your layer. Click Ctrl T to transform your object. Move your anchor point. Then rotate your object 60 degrees. Look and zoom in to make sure that your object is seamless and there are no imperfections. 
Now keep repeating the steps until you get your hexagon. Once you've got your hexagon, right click on your layers menu, go down to merge visible. This is going to combine all your layers together. Duplicate your layer and fill in the empty spaces with your hexagon. Line them up, place your hexagon, and check for any seams. Zoom out and repeat the process until your canvas is full with your hexagon pattern. Once you've filled the space, highlight all the layers and group them together. Once you've done that, use the adjustment layers to play around with your image. You could play with the hue, the saturation, and the brightness to create a more in-depth image. And that's how you make Kaleidoscope using Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.